Previously on Lifetime Troublemates. Visiting Pondicherry gave us some insight of how European colonies were in India back in the day. We saw how locals and visitors enjoyed the beach, explored the French Quarter with all its quaint cafes and restaurants, and went shopping to a colorful and beautiful sari store. The next stop on our South India trip wasn't far at all. It was probably one of the shortest journeys we had done in the whole six months of traveling there. We left behind the city of Pondicherry to enter a more rural area in the north without leaving the coast. After a long tuk-tuk drive around these roads, we arrived at our guest house. It's quite isolated. And we already have a friend. Who is this friend? Who is this Mishi Mishi? Dogs. Hello. Let's go. What? What? Oh yeah. It felt very nice to be back in the countryside, and lucky for us, the guest house had some bicycles we could rent to go to explore our bit. When we first heard of Auroville, we didn't understand exactly what kind of place it was. We read many different things on official and related websites. And also some news articles that gave us a lot of questions. So we decided to go to the visitor center and find out what was all that about. The Orville Visitor Center offers a lot of information about the creation, the goals and the philosophy behind Orville. But it's too much to explain in this video, so click the link on the description down below if you are interested in learning more. Long story short, Orville is a universal township devoted to an experiment in human unity. It gathers people from around 50 nations from all ages, from all social classes, backgrounds and cultures, representing humanity as a whole. The population is growing and at the moment is around 2,500 people. The city is built surrounding the soul of the city, the Matri Mandir, situated on a large area called Peace, from where the future township radiates outwards. The atmosphere is quiet and charged. The Matri Mandir, meaning the temple of the mother, is a spherical building that seems to be emerging out of the earth, symbolizing the birth of a new consciousness. The mother concept stands for the great evolutionary conscious and intelligent principle of life, the Universal Mother. Inside the Matri Mandir, there is the inner chamber, a completely white room with marble walls and a crystal glass globe in the center, receiving natural sunlight that falls on it through an opening on the apex of the sphere. The inner chamber has no images, organized meditations, flowers, incense, religion or religious forms. We booked a visit to the Matri Mandir to see how it is inside and experience the full silence and concentration. Unfortunately for you, cameras and all kind of devices aren't allowed. So here is more or less how it feels inside. Yes, complete silence to meditate. But Orville is not just the Matri Mandir. The whole area offers a lot of nature and activities, so we decided to change our accommodation for another one closer to the area. So we're gonna stay here, oh my, the sun. We're gonna stay here for the next three days. Look at that cute dog. Very calm, very peaceful, and we are very close to the Arville entrance visitor centers, where we have to go and 
get some information about what to do. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's why I'm so. <laughs> oh my god. We are on our way to go to a financial center to make auto cars, uh, which is a debit card you can use uh, most of shops in Auroville. I'm not really sure if it's necessary to make auto cars here because most of the shops here also accept Indian rupees, but. There are some places that only accept auto card, so we're going to uh, make auto cards just to fully enjoy the auto view. We could either rent bicycles. It's very hot, and auto view is very large. We thought it's a very small, like community town, but it's not. We see many people using like bicycles, but. Most of them, I think, we saw more people using scooter or motorbikes to move from place to other place. We went to the bicycle rental place right next to the Dreamers Cafe, and it's uh, 60 rupees per day. And we checked the bicycles, the conditions, and everything, and then we decided just to walk because it's not the type of bicycle that we liked and uh, it looked quite uncomfortable I mean at least to me so we we're just walking under the hot sun and uh, I'm not seeing any buildings yet we're still walking on surrounded by trees and a like, small forest around actually it's quite a good walk under the shades of trees Hall building you can see the offices and all the planning for the city. There is also the financial center, a radio station and lots of information about Auroville and how to learn and participate in the community. restaurants and shops you can find boards with lots of activities and workshops like meditation, yoga, dance lessons, book clubs, language classes, massages, martial arts, movie screenings and many more. We didn't engage to any of them due to lack of time, but found it very interesting for people living there or visitors staying longer. Instead, we continued exploring around, found a sustainable shop with many colorful and eco-friendly clothes and accessories, played with some cats and try the meal at the popular solar kitchen. We also rented a scooter to explore the surroundings. Outside the main area of Oroville, there are many other places to visit and places to eat. So we ate some more food and took a look at the beach. some great seafood and got ready for our next destination. So we 
we finally arrived here in... Thank you.